Meanwhile, let's get on with the man at the center of the entire Rafal storm. N. Ram, the chairman of the Hindu group, has published a series of articles on the contentious Rafal deal. And here is he in conversation with our consulting editor, Rajdeep Sardesai. And joining me now is someone who's been central at the moment to this uh, entire controversy with the Attorney General accusing uh, the petitioners of stealing documents and Ram. Chairman, the Hindu Publishing Group joins us. Uh, Mr. Ram, thank you very much for joining us. You've been putting out a series of reports which today the Attorney General seemed to suggest in court were based on stolen documents. And he wanted an inquiry and investigation under the Official Secrets Act. Your response to what you heard today in the court? Rajdeep, we have not stolen any documents. And we've heard this uh, story about stolen documents before. You heard it during the, in the Pentagon Papers were leaked to the, uh, the New York Times and the Washington Post. We heard it uh, on Watergate. We heard it when more recently when the WikiLeaks material was published by the New York Times, the Guardian, number of papers, and also the Hindu uh, uh, so far as the U.S. Embassy cables relating to India and Pakistan were concerned. So you heard this before. That's the standard position taken by the, uh, many governments. Uh, we didn't steal them. We didn't pay for these documents. And we, uh, I, I don't want to comment on the proceedings in the Supreme Court because I wasn't there. I don't know all that was said. But uh, our stand is very clear. We published these documents in the public interest. We did not pay for them. We, we believe that this information should have been made public, put in the public realm by the government. We certainly believe it should have been shared with Parliament. We believe it should have been submitted to the Supreme Court. It was not. Much of this information was not available anywhere else except in the columns of the Hindu. And I must mention, in all fairness, some others also uh, put out new information. Uh, for example, the ca caravan, wire, scroll, and various others. They also had a role, but the major revelations, I, I think, even if I say so, came from uh, the Hindu when I did those stories. Do you believe this is an attempt to intimidate the media from publishing more details? Or do you believe this is a sign that the government has something to hide? How do you interpret what happened today in the court? We don't know yet what the standing of uh, what went on in the Supreme Court is. Uh, but certainly, I would vigorously and robustly contest the charge that we participated in any any stealth. Would you be pushed no. ever to reveal your source? Do you believe a journalist can be forced or pushed to reveal his or her source? I think fortunately in India, we are well protected under the law. And I would only say, I wouldn't want to use uh, uh, strong, very strong words. I, I was going to say no force on earth is going to uh, uh, <laughs> make us reveal the sources. There's nothing that they can do which will make us reveal the sources. I think that's good enough. I think those are strong enough words, no force on earth can prevent us, uh, can stop us from not revealing our sources. Mr. Andram, appreciate your joining us as always. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.